What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game of Duty. Welcome to you back to some Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. It is the second game in the Danganronpa series, and I need to clarify something. The very end of the series. I said this game came out in 2017. I was wrong. It was not 2017. I am so sorry. Um, third game is 2017. This game, I think, is 2013 or 2014. Whoopsie! It's whatever. It's fine. We're gonna hop, sure, hop, gonna hop, skip, and jump right in to this new cast of characters and see how it goes. Uh, how, how many characters am I gonna say is hot? Let's find out. Let's figure that out because I feel like there's gonna be quite a bit. Obviously, last time I really did like the, the settings that we had, where our logic difficulty was set to mean and our action difficulty was set to kind. Um. Because I like having to put pieces together, but I'm absolutely garbage at, like, action-y stuff. Um, from the first game, action-y stuff was bullet time battles, which, I mean, I don't mind if that gets put to mean. But the aiming, oh my god, I couldn't aim for. Shoot! There were so many times I'm just like, John, aim. Aim. God damn it, aim! Uh, the amount of times that I just, mm. Anyways, let's hop into this. Oh, new that's a new voice. Can you hear me? It's a new, very new voice. Are you okay? You just seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also. You know, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try and remember that first. I begin to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in, in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gather the fragments of the scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I... I... Oh! Oh my god! It just, it, it reveals immediately that there's six chapters. Hello? Okay. Because prologue C1 is chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6. Presumably. I could be wrong. We got this arcade style. Okay, arcade -y. Oh! Now, uh, one thing that I do know that you guys know as well because it's on the thumbnail is there's a different Monokuma. We don't know about her yet, or what? But she's literally on. I say she. I don't know if it's a she. I don't know. I, I'll just go with there. They're literally on the cover art and stuff for this game. So I really want to get into that nitty gritty and figure out who the heck they are. That day, it wasn't a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. And when uh, the long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way that I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Oh, I need to turn my myself up. Hello? Oh, okay, so we're at Hope's Peak again. Interesting. Okay. So we're still in the same setting that we were last time. Is this kind of like a Hunger Games type thing where it's like this is the new season that is at Hope Peak, right? Because, you know, there's like some game shows, right, where season one, like the Circle, for example. So the Circle has a cast in season one and they have a cast in season two and so on and so forth. Is this like season two's cast? Sorry, asking all of these questions. I I am going to front load. Like, last time I was able to ask, like, I wasn't able to ask as many questions because I didn't know much about what was going on. But now that I've got some conceptual pieces, I think I can ask more informed questions, which I think will make the series better. That place is so much more than a school to me. Kids love who love playing baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer who will long join a, a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. 
Yeah, I'm, def I'm definitely going to give him a lighter tone, I think. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It, the, it recruits the top students of every imaginable field, inspire hope, and in doing so, shaping the future. Whenever Hope Peak Academy is mentioned, it is only a matter of time before anyone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, it is not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of our current leaders of various industries are actually an alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student, and two, you must be the very best at what you can do. But unlike other students, there aren't as any entrance exams to this academy. The only way to get into this school is if the school itself scouts you, and that is how Hope Peaks Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students at Hope Peaks Academy are usually considered ultimates. But even though I am finally going to Hope Peaks Academy, the school I desired than more than anything else, the truth is, is my circumstances are a little bit different than my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough that there is nothing worth special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I should go ahead and introduce myself first. What is this character's name? Hajime, okay. There's only one reason I came to Hope Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why I feel like a member of society. It becomes something I can be proud of. I always wanted to be. Why are we getting special effects already? Monokuma! We should be getting special effects already! The, uh, that, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I think the screen tearing is actually intended. <laughs> Which scares me. The reason I'm alone is I always... I always, 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 always until now. I never wanted to admit it how painfully ordinary I am. That's why. Hope. I knew the screen tear was intended. I knew it. Okay. I I might have. Oh my God. I can't even read this. I might have admired a talent individuality, but I have finally forfeited, forever tried my best, and it finally came true. Oh my God. We are jumping into this, huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry because I need to go inside the classroom. Need. What? Need. No, I should hurry. What is this? Well, we are getting dumped into completely different circumstances. Huh? Who goes there? Who's saying that? Um, are you feeling all right? You look so pale. That sounds like our our uh. It's not is it yeah it sounds like our soccer replacement <laughs> um. hey could you be you're also a freshman at this school right uh, then you and I speak for yourself we're all freshmen too no way that was the muscular man talking absolutely no shot these guys everyone the freshmen that can were accepted in the Hope Speak Academy, Some the ultimates. Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered. Okay, so my guess when I saw the character list was that he's Byakuya's son somehow. 
Like he's part of the he's part of the Togami line and is part of the affluent prodigy. Or so I'm curious if we're getting like a new generation type esque thing. Beautiful. Beautiful ruin. Prologue time unknown. He's level one. Does that mean that, like, we level up with the characters? And it like, actually displays that on the screen? Hey, why don't you come inside for now? Ah, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others while trying to my very best to act cool. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me. And sat in the open seat in the back of the classroom. Of course we're in the back of the classroom. Why would we not be? Anyways, what happened? What just happened earlier? I wanted to be here. And then the classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk into the classroom? I don't remember. Something is weird. Um, excuse me. That even sounds like Byakuya. It, it legit sounds like Byakuya. Is that the same voice actor? It it, it sounds. Even like two of the, like the inflections in the voice. It's got to be the same voice, that, voice actor. There's no shot it's not. What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here. So it's like an entrance ceremony or homeroom is happening right now. Actually... We are just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Ah, this is everyone! How do you do? Or how do you know? There are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. And just what are we going to talk about exactly? The reason that we're all gathered here in this classroom... First, I need to confirm something out of everyone here. Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came into this classroom? Uh. We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realize that you were in this classroom, then everyone else here is in the same predicament. Very strange. He's so quiet. Like, I need to change the voice, like, the music down and the voices up. No matter how you look at it, it is unnatural, even if you stupid-looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It it is sure strange, but nobody actually remembers how they that they, nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey, hey what do you mean, stupid-looking? So the moment you set foot on this campus, you felt strange dizziness, and now you're here, and you don't know why. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that it's true for all of you? That happened to me too, but. Ah, uh, that dizziness wasn't just me. Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. Uh, even if it's just coincidence, it, it feels good to be true. It feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying that it wasn't just a coincidence then? Huh? So in other words, Meaning that we can only speculate who's responsible from this strange phenomena. But who's responsible? What is it? It feels like there's something getting even stranger. Ha! Huh. I don't know what you're worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. What do you mean? That's that's not. A, I, I need a better voice for him. I mean, it is a minor problem. Instead of giving, or trying to figure out why we're here, we should figure out wh why we can't leave. Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? Uh, seriously? I watched him rush to the door. And try with all of his might to pull it open. Clatter, 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 clatter. It won't open. It can't open. Huh? Why? A little while after we got here, I tried to leave and go take a shit. That door won't budge at all. Uh. Hey, hey, what's going on? Even with all my might, it couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. Eh, what do you mean you couldn't open it? Like, why? That's not possible. She, she's right. It's impossible. Because 
we went through that door and opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There is no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside? Well, what do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? M maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous. Huh? Or perhaps it doesn't make more s doesn't it make more sense that this is some sort of entrance exam the entrance exam you mean hope peaks academy However, but according to hope peaks academy there's no entrance exam ex no such entrance exam exists they may say that publicly but it is possible that this is actually a special entrance exam ah, you're wrong this is not an entrance exam what was that just now hey bastard who the hell are you? I don't even know how to freaking do a voice for him. Hey, fat ass. Why did you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but the, that voice you heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then whose <laughs> voice was it? Um, it's actually mine. Who's there? Who are you? Sounds like it came from the desk behind the teacher. It, it came behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk. Hello. All right. I'll see. I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. Oh, cool! I I can I can I I can put the I can put her in the thumbnail and don't, I don't feel bad anymore. Cool, that makes me feel better. What is that? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right, I am a squeakably fox stuffed animal, magical miracle girl Usagi, aka Usami. Okay, so Usami. Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What is with that talking chihuahua? Stop. Ah, that's a chihuahua! Everyone. Does everyone here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am. A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Huh? Oh, hold on, let me process this. Okie dokie. Um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. Hmm. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's a remote controlled, doesn't it lo look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Its movement, mannerisms, are not and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, it's based off what it just said. It seems to know something about our current situation. Of course I do. I am the lead teacher of this school trip. School trip? Hey, what do you mean, school trip? <laughs> a large group of students have been chaper have a go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It is the biggest event of the school year. We're looking for such a... L were you not looking for such a literal answer? Oh, I can actually look at the side and it tells me who's talking. Okay, now let's depart on this fun school trip. Depart? That's why we're locked inside. Okay, I know who I want to bone in this island. Fine. It's a tropical island. I can do whatever the frick I want. Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. This classroom collapsed a, like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, and white waves. What? What the? Oh, I, of course it does. I, I need it to tell me that it's speaking, because it doesn't speak most of the time. No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal, clearly unreasonable, utterly crazy. 
blatantly wrong. Whoa, 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 what? This is a joke, right? Where are we? Huh? What is going on? Everyone, please stay calm. There's no reason to panic. See? Look around. Feast your eyes on the beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? I know what else is going to be washed clean tonight. It washes away everything, even the bad things. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Where, you ask? Well, obviously we're... Out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. Out by the sea. I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? You know, your throat's gonna be hoarse if you keep screaming like that. No, Asami, it's gonna be hoarse for other reasons. It's fine. It's okay, you know? Sometimes we need a hoarse throat for... You know, some horses. But, you know, it's fine. But we are at the school and now we are by the sea. That's impossible. Please don't worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. But, Mike, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She, she's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope's Peak Academy. Ah, uh, Hope's Peak Academy. I see. I see. You don't say. You guys feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy? Then in that case, please forget about the Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? The hell do you mean by we should forget about it? Hey, what are you? What are you scheming? What? what, what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm just doing this for everyone's sake. I am praying from the bottom of my heart that a hope will grow within everyone's hearts. No There's no such dangerous on nothing that's dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there is no need to worry at all. Island? Did you just say island? Yep, it is certainly beautiful. It is prepared just for us. An island free from others and people and danger. Are you saying this island is Uninhabited? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kill each other? No, no way. Bloody bloodiness, bloody business, like causing violence or inflicting pain and is a big no, no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Oh, so scary. Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Uh, bone sexy people? I don't know. Maybe? I'm joking. No. I'm totally joking. I'm not joking. But I'm totally joking. Alrighty. I shall announce it to everyone right now. While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. Oh! So is this like a persona aspect? Maybe? Possibly? I wouldn't mind being having a persona aspect of having to strengthen my social links and all. The main rule is on this heart-throbbing school trip. Oh, yes, it is definitely heart-throbbing. It's fine. Heart-throbbing school trip. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about free of pain and free of suffering. Truly, this lovey-dovey heart-throbbing school trip is everyone's homework. What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. Oh, I have exactly what I want to do on it. I couldn't follow her words at all. But then, just like that, a certain curtain slowly lowering, slowly lowered. My mind ground to a halt. Dang an island. Oh, this is where we're going to get everybody's, like, things, aren't we? No. Okay, Chiaki. Oh, my God. I got to remember the music. Sonia. Okay, that's easy to pronounce. Cool. Anak or Akane. Oh, I'm not going to remember that. I'm not going to remember that either. It's going so fast. Soda. That's easy to remember. It's 
It's like we're gonna get an intro and everything. It's kind of this is actually really cool. Welcome to Dangan Island. Are you ready? I need to know if he's a Takami. It's not gonna tell me, is it? Nayade, Ibaki. Takami! It did tell us. Okay, okay, okay. That doesn't 100% confirm my suspicion. But that points to the direction. That points to the direction. So let's hope. Let's. Oh, is that actually it? Oh my god, that might be it. Hey. Hey. Oh no, we're just we're we're reverting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also no, everyone else feels the same too. Okay, so this is where we go back to this. Okay, we're going back to the original thing where we're all like, Oh my god, what the hell happened? Okay. So you suddenly got put in this weird situation. So we'll loop back to the situation. Cool. Hey, you listening? Hey, are you sure you're okay? Le leave me alone. There is no way I can leave you with someone alone when they took that po took that pail. When they oh, when they looked that pail. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean, the sun rays beaming down on me, the soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on here. What a I, I was supposed to attend Hope Speak Academy. Why did this? Why am I here in a place like this? The rabbit thing said we are on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on. The only thing that I can say is absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the left stick, you can maneuver the rectangle or maneuver the rectangle on the screen. Oh, reticle, reticle, like yeah, the duh. If the reticle responds, press the A button. You can examine that person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the right stick. Plus, you can press the... What button is that? What button is that? You can use a series power to see everything you can examine. Probably why. The world has become super convenient if you're able to do all of this from the get-go. Now, then, please search this beast thoroughly to progress this story. It is the Y button. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, what is the monitor? Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is it being used for? I guess it makes sense there'd be palm trees on a tropical island. Time, that's a mighty fine palm tree, but... Now and it's not the time for me to be impressed by it. The ocean in the background. Uh, the camera that's going to talk about the camera. Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Why are we being monitored or something? That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. The crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never watched anything like this at all. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calmed down right now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with the introduction? Introduction? I'm Nagito Kawaeda. Nice I to meet you. Nice to meet you, Nagito. Whoa! We're not ultimate lucky this time? Okay. Along with my introduction, I guess I could also tell you my talents so that you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's pretty disappointing talent. Disappointing talent? What do you mean? What are you talking about? 
It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talents. I am the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I was. I am called anyway. Ultimate lucky student? Right. Though a country-wide li lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Hope Speak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. With the luck that lucky winner, that just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery? Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? How strange. Your face looks tr troubled. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not troubled or anything. Oh, no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this, too. I never thought about thought an average talentless high school student like me would ever be in Hope Speak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it. But they told me they really wanted me to attend. So apparently the so-called luck of mine is a talent. That's even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. Hope Speak Academy is amazing, but if it can actually research something as vague as luck? Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope Speak Academy. So for, sure, for that, I am grateful. But on the other hand, I'm a little out of place here. Ah. Uh. Sorry, it's a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's my introduction. Hmm. Nagito Komia or Koma Komida, huh? I'm just gonna say first names. It's first name basis. I'm sorry. He doesn't seem like mo the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. No, I mean, it's kind of your average individ individual, quite literally. Uh. <laughs> But he seems pretty caring and empathetic, at least. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. I'm Hayame. Mm. Then, let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... I... I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. So if I opened a book, expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages... Are we the Kyoko?! I can see that. Like, if we're, like, the ultimate detective. It was kind of an uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Without realizing it, my body began to shudder as the waves of discomfort began pounding against me. Hi, Ame. What happened? Uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this, too. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember it soon once you've settled down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're yep. right. Then, I guess I shall... we're done with introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I do hope we can get along. Obtained a hope fragment? Hey, did something just beep? Well, what a weird sound. I hastily stuck my head into my pocket. That's right, that strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from inside my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like P it's like a PDA or a smartphone. Well, why is something like this inside my pocket? Okay? Asami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh, right. You seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but... What is this? <laughs> it's an e-handbook. What what the? Where did you come from? Oh, sorry. oh did I startle you? I'm so t terribly sorry. <laughs> Dee, I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um, anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it, okay? Th this device is that important. I've asked everyone to hear everyone to use their e handbook to gather all the hope fragments. Hope fragments. Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments and so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love is love. Hey, hey. She's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears whenever and wherever she wants? Sounds like a great plot device. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And, uh, what was all that about hope fragments? 
what's our deal? Is this like we're in a game or something? <laughs> if this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. I do not like, do not use the word right away. The word right away is so scary here. No. The word right away is a straight up no, please. Hi. And, uh, I was going to say Jaime, but not Jaime is talking. Uh, Nayagi, don't use that word, okay? You're probably right, but. Or, <laughs> Nayagi. That's Makoto. Wrong game. Nagito. <laughs> More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then I think it's best you at least introduce yourself to them. This is also true, but where did everyone go? Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? As long as we are expected to live on this island, we should learn as much about it as we can. For example, what is this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food, living arrangements, so on and so forth? Why don't you finish introducing yourself? Or uh, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much met, went around, and introduced myself to everyone already. But I'll feel free to tag along with you. So now he's decided to come along with me. Well, I guess that's helpful. I don't. I know I worry if I was left on my own. So, shall we get going then? But is this really okay to feel? so relaxed in a strange situation perhaps it's the tropical climate or is that what's her name usami's fault what, happened? what is it hayame let's get going we're right got it at any rate if this is just a nightmare i have no idea if it's even started yet sheesh what kind of nightmare is that you are now able to use the handbook you can use it to check various information throughout the game you can open the e handbook with the X button, same button we used in the first game. Very easy. It includes guidelines of the school trip, uh, the report card, which documents every, everybody's information. There are various features inside this handbook as well. You can also save, load your game inside the handbook. So please check the system page as well. But wait, there's more. You can also view the transcript with the back button. Understandable. Have a nice day. That is all that there is about the... Oh, cool. <laughs> we already played around with it from the last game, so I'm not too concerned about it. Oh, right. You can exit the beach with the B button. Well, in the next episode, we're going to go meet the other people. Um, especially Muscular Dude. Obviously, we have to meet him. Like, Honestly, we might save him for last because uh, he's Muscular Dude. And, uh, you know, i got to build that tension for myself. But, anyways... Love you all so much. I cannot wait to see what crazy things this story has for me. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!